Well, if you've lived in Texas for a while, you know the end of September brings the spectacular migration of the monarch butterfly. Ken's Five's Jeremy Baker spoke with the San Antonio Zoo to find out why its annual migration is so special. Monarch butterflies in the wild just can't handle a cold winter. That's why they migrate to the south to go to warmer roosting spots like high in the mountains of Mexico. I like the green one. Why do you like green? Because my favorite color is green. When monarchs are on their migration, they're going to go all the way from the northern tips of North America all the way down to Mexico. The Xerces Society for Invertebrate Conservation says during the annual monarch migration, the butterflies fly up to 3,000 miles before reaching their destination. It's every monarch's first and only migration, and migrating monarchs live longer than others because they can stick out the winter. A lot of butterflies are able to pupate, uh, which is when they go into their chrysalis stage over the winter time. And what will happen is they'll find a nice area where there's lots of leaf litter, lots of fallen leaves on the ground, and it provides warmth for them. The monarch's annual migration is fueled not just by the change in temperature of the seasons, but also by the change in the length of daylight. And at the San Antonio Zoo, they actually track some of the monarchs by tagging them. We'll catch them and tag them so we can see if they make their way down to Mexico. And then in the spring, we'll actually look at their young and the caterpillars to uh, record data on that as well. If you happen to miss this migration, you can catch a second migration that takes place at the Texas coast. It runs from about the middle of October until the middle of November. From the San Antonio Zoo, Jeremy Baker, Ken Spot.